What's going on boys and squirrels? Today we're going to be installing these chrome boys on my Spitfire- Wait. Oh no. I ordered a 5 lug. My Spitfire is only a 4 lug. You know what we can do? We can put it right on this here Mustang. Hey, how's it going guys? Oh Josh, you got the pieces that we- What does it smell like? What is it? Chinese. Is it Chinese? Like? Well, I wouldn't eat that if it- You're going to get the- Dude, it tastes like shit. Okay, well you know what? Maybe we'll just feed that to the we Mustang. Gotta put, we got to put it- as our holding mounts over here. Anyways, so we gotta start by jacking up the car and putting it on some jack stands. So we're First, gonna we're gonna we jack her up, good. Why do we have to do this again? Why do we have to do this? Because he yeah, small car syndrome. That's why. That's the problem. So yes. no, the real issue is that that's the 15 mean. inch rim does not clear the stock sway bar mounts. So you gotta move the sway bar mounts a little bit up. That's what these bracket here, boys, are for. So, yeah, we're gonna start by doing that. We're gonna start by jacking up the rear end. If I could fucking see what I was doing, it would be nice. Yeah, I am gonna do that in a second as soon as I get the jack positioned on the rear end. She's a little bit dark. It's cold in here, boys. Yeah, dude. She's like, inching up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's going, like I said, dude. Maybe it's just going so little because it's so cold. Yeah, maybe it could be. The oil's cold. Maybe warm up the shaft a little bit yeah, and yeah, she'll. Let me just, just give it a good rub down. Is this the proper. I think I just hit the fuel tank a couple times too. That also helped. I think I chopped off the wheels. <laughs> uh, you're not chopped on this side, but you're here on that. Side. No, I'm chopped off on in the front. Like it's not this the wedge. One. Yeah, in the front. It's okay. Well, it's wood in the front. Stay where it needs to be. Stay. Yeah, stay. Just tell it to stay. Dude. How do you tell a horse to stay? I mean, uh, you just tell it to can stay, or I'm gonna just sell you. Heel? Is it heel, heel or is it whoa? Dude, I swear to God, I haven't worked this much and it's been a long time. Now she's jumping is up. Is she gonna hit anything in the front? Let me, let me do a... Yeah, do I, wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine. She's just rotating. Uh, uh, I don't know, you're like two feet away from the wall. I don't know. Well, <laughs> I don't know. You know what? We'll just move the house back. Yeah, just move, dude. We gotta yeah. call the contractor. Yeah, the going backwards. Is it? Yeah, it is. That's, you know, it's like physics, you know? I didn't take that oh, class. Oh, dude, look. You got some rust? No, oh, we got We got some leafage. Can I taste it? <laughs> what does it taste like? A little bit like rust proofing? It tastes like maple syrup. It's a maple leaf. Anyways. Okay, so we got the car basically jacked up pretty good. We got it lifted, supported by the diff. We got two jack stands. Mm. We got the old OSHA approved. Yeah, OSHA approved, got the wrong fucking socket. You think you would know your own car by now, eh? I think the bigger issue is that you're using a chrome socket on an impact gun, but yep. we're not really worried about that. No, we're not, because these are master crafts where you master your craft, you know what I mean? There we go. Good for the ears. Yep, it doesn't like deafen you, right? Oh, these lock nut keys, dude. I'm that sure you had a, when you worked at Dodge, Dan, I'm sure you had a fucking pain in the dick with those things. Bro. When people would forget him, exactly. Yeah. We had uh, we had three or four cases in the back of like miscellaneous ones. Yeah, and you just have to try to match the shapes. Like when you're playing like a game or something, you gotta match the shapes. <laughs> like you know that puzzle game. When you you're guys, a kid? you guys remember kindergarten? Oh, oh god! Oh, that's just drop it on the brake. It's good for the resale value. It's good. <laughs> so if you guys remember a video of how to paint your calipers or whatnot, um, we did that to the front. We did not do that to the back. It is uh... Actually, no. We did it to the front, and then I did do it to the back, but then my caliper ceased, so I had to replace both rear calipers. And these are actually OEM from Ford. That's the funny thing. You see oh, okay. the Ford logo there? And they're rusting this bad, so... Rip. Yeah, well, I think um, when I ended up replacing my calipers on the Hyundai, what I did was I... Are you... Le Why is it so moist over here? Oh. Maybe it got turned on or something? I don't know. Oh, yeah. All the peelage. Yep. Anyway, Sorry, wait, I'm gonna rub <laughs> squeeze through. On your face there. <laughs> Just like I like. <laughs> um, so yeah, when I did it on the Hyundai, what I did was I ended up hitting it with the old uh, Rust-Oleum Black, the good engine enamel or whatever it was I put on. Something high heat. Maybe barbecue paint, but I won't tell you guys that because that's bad. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is rusting a little bit more than I would have uh, would have expected. Look at that. You're that's actual. Bad. You gotta throw that out. Yeah, it's garbage. Good Ontario. Yep. It happens when you drive a car one year in the winter and then it's ruined. Anyway, did we actually explain what we're doing? I don't even remember. We're talking about putting wheels on, but what we're supposed to be doing is uh, we have to hang these two bolts out here. Let me let me squeeze under here. Yeah. So right over here, you got the little sway bar. 
We got to relocate this up a little bit because this thingy that here, tab here yeah, is, is going to hit the wheel when we put it on. It's only 15 inches, so the diameter of the wheel is not big enough to like clear this. So we have to cut this off and relocate the upper. It'll move it up a bit. Is that good? Look at that, dude. It's like weight reduction. Oh, that's fine. This is such a bitch, dude. Good angle. Okay, so that's that. Wow, this car's a rusty piece of shit. Look at this. I've never seen more rust in my life. <coughs> Eating it, too. But, you just push it down and swing her out. Like that. There we go. Good stuff, Dan. Easy peasy. There we go. Just fucking bend the shit out of it. Oh yeah. Might as well just cut it right off. Yeah, at that point, fuck, look, see? Done. Okay, so this we can't lose. Hold the shock out of this mount. And now we gotta do the other side. Not easier though, right? It doesn't save you a lot of time. No. No. <laughs> okay. I now missed I this because I forgot I was supposed to be yeah, cameraman. So, I'll just, I'll so just... we loosen that boy up on the top there yeah. just so that this can swing. There's a little square bolt here that kind of goes like in the middle here to prevent it from like moving around. And then we we're trying to figure out if it goes in front or behind, but it goes behind kind of like this. And then this goes like this. And how this works is this creates another hole up here and it'll move the whole like circus up here this yeah, way. Yeah, so like you get that. the extra one on the top. And yeah, then... and then yeah. So basically what that'll allow us to do is just chop that completely off like that. And yeah, it'll be good to go. So we have to line this up like that and everything else will line up perfectly. So, and then we put this washer like this. Yeah. And then we're gonna loosely. Yeah, that one I think you just leave loose for now. This way you can adjust that bracket exactly. left and right based on I how just... the sway bar bushing wants I... to fit on it. I... And then... So yeah, so the washer the is on this. Go? The washer is gonna be on the Did same. The bolt fall somewhere. It's, the bolt is, no. not, is not in your hand. Oh yeah. <laughs> so all we did, guys, is just move this up more. Okay. Is that fifty-three foot pounds? I gotta torque it's it like now. Five hundred and fifty. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't, like I waited, once it stopped vibrating, yeah, see it's still a little bit loose, so I'm gonna go get a torque wrench and we're gonna measure it properly now. Make sure it's between 51 and 53, if you get it off by one, I don't think it's gonna blow I don't think off. it's gonna make a difference. So the washer for the B market snapped there under 50 foot pounds of torque. Um, Can I still use it? <laughs> no, I, I don't, get a different washer. I don't think oh, that's safe. Now where are we gonna get a washer though? She well the gap is so big that it bolt. ended up pulling the washer. That's why you couldn't get the torque right on it because it kept just flexing. I bet this. you this one did the same thing. That's <laughs> well, what that, that noise was. What Snap. if I told you that the bolt was bent? Snap right in half. No. Okay, so the situation we've run into is the hardware that came with the kit Darn is it. absolute trash. So the washers kind of bent in on themselves and <laughs> one, one uh, bolt split, this one bent. Yep. So what we're gonna do, our workaround, is we've got some actual, not Chinese metal <laughs> that we can, you know, cut down to size just the way we need it to. The and then um, we can use some yeah, dude, like, stronger steel washers. Yeah, like this is the original one. It didn't really, uh, <laughs> dude, didn't hold up. <laughs> 50 foot pounds did that. Yeah, $60 for that kit. But uh, Anyway, we can put smaller washers to take up the negative space between the washer and the bracket. Oh. This way it prevents yeah. this from sinking in, basically. Oh yeah, so there's a nut on there. So that when we back it off, Don't touch it kind of re-threads that. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit spicy. I think it'll thread, no? Looks like it will. Yeah, threads perfectly. Yep, beautiful. Be we re-thread <laughs> This way. So now with our new custom hardware on here, we've kind of just decided to go do it by hand, not using the old 50 whatever foot pounds of torque that was recommended. Yeah, it's so We're gonna do the old, if she I'm tight, she I. Bottom one. Yeah, that's lined up. Then that's good. I can't get it in though, cause I gotta hold it like that. Then you can clear. Mine's in. 
Okay, now put your nuts on. Yep. My uh, my thick nuts, right? The nylons? Yeah. Good kit. I'm giving it some twerks. This is gonna break. It's not. Hold it straight like this. Why is this still tightening? Ah! Alright, so we finally got all these bolts torqued down to 52 foot-pounds, except for the middle one, I think. But, uh, yeah, they're they're pretty much in there. Yeah, the other ones we tightened by hand. Yeah. Because so now, we're going to break it. Now what we can do, in order to get the shock to mount properly, we're going to have to disconnect the uh, sway bar end links right at the top, mm -hmm. and slide this down or something, and then we can pop this boy back into place. Yep. I believe we have to lower the diff, I think, right? Yeah. To make it fit? Yeah. So. And then uh, we'll bring her back up after. That's in reverse. And they're already loose. Good. The rear diff is supported right now, right? Because this will drop it. Yeah. Okay. That's one, Josh. All the way down. Yeah. And now. She's out of the way now. We shocks. can get the shocks in there. Mine lines up perfectly. Now, we have to figure out exactly how this used to go. We cut it after, right? Yeah, after everything's back on. Ah, I see why we need to lower the sway mount now. Because this this wasn't going to line up before. There we go. That's why. There. Mine's through. And then you put this like this. And then what? You tighten it with this? Yeah, thing? you tighten it. Oh, you're going to make sure you go proper. Is that the right one? Yeah. Going. Now you do the rest with the torque wrench. Going straight, dude. That's it. That's it. Yep. Okay. Eighty-five, dude. Ready? Watch it doesn't slip and you hit your knuckles. Yeah, you'd be. I have. Oh, now ready? I've never one. done that. There you go. There you All go. right, there, boys. Okay. Next is this. It goes back Same up and you thing. reline it. You see? Wait, wait. Go down. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, right! Okay, so basically we just uh, raise the diff back up so we can get that to fit in properly. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, she's mint. Cool. There you go. Nice, dude. Wow, that's perfect. No hitting. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Woo! You got a little bit of space. Oh, we got like fucking almost half inch. Yeah, so we're good. Yeah. So it's looking pretty good. Josh did an amazing job grinding it all down, cutting it off. It looks like factory. Now we're gonna give it some rattle can detailage. Oh, it's special. Wait to see how I'm gonna do it. Yeah, so this is called the special, but you just want to get it done. <sighs> the old get her done special. Yep. So oh, yeah. Position the light so you can see what you're doing. Oh, yeah. You want to get your finger in the trim clad, like that. And then what you want to do, you just want to really get it on there, you know? So she don't rust. <sighs> Since I don't have a paintbrush and I don't feel like using a toothbrush like I did last time, we're just going to give her the old... It actually works really good. Look at that, you get coverage. Here. <sighs> you okay? There we go. I need you to stay like that now. So Joe, are those some special uh, lug nuts or something? They or? are, yeah. So basically, long story short, is these are like super deep. So you have to put this little like space thing. There's actually a, a plastic hub thing adapter that goes on the back as well. Um, and then you just put this like that. There's a little like, this is wheel side. And then you put them like that. Push it against like that. So all my Spitfire subscribers, that's a regular thing. All the Spitfires have that same bolt, even from factory. Yep. You and were saying even on the steels, right? Yeah, on the steelies. Well, that's, they all came from factory with the steelies, I think. I might be wrong, but. <laughs> Are flat? Yeah. How flat? 
I guess we'll find out. It looks like a Hot Wheels car. Small. <laughs> yeah, they're 26s. Oh my god, it's so flat. Your trunk. Oh my god. Let's go over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yep. It looks like a Hot Wheels car. Yep. Oh <laughs> my god. Dude. Wow. A, a little bit small. Yeah. They, I need 28s. So these came with 26s. That's they okay. Need... They're two inches bigger, like in diameter. So as of right now, the only conundrum we have is just the uh, jacks kind of pinched under there because this tire is two inches smaller than what it should have been. So the right height got a little bit smaller or lower. This light's about to die, but yeah, this is essentially what it's going to look like right now. For now. Eventually, there's going to be some chubby rubber added to this. Yeah, It'll be the right size garbage. and we'll throw on some skinnies on the front. But right now, <laughs> looks pretty nice. A little bit like a Hot Wheels car, but pretty nice. <laughs> All right, we'll take care of that. Anyway, take care, comb your hair. I'm signing out.